Ladies and gents, Sumeru is finally here and of course with Sumeru comes new characters such as Ternari as well as uh, Zhongli, I guess. It is a new character, but Kalei is a new character and this is a pretty exciting time for a lot of individuals as, you know, it's a new region, it's a new place, some new characters. So we're going to be trying uh, Ternari out first. So let's just get into it. Obviously, Ternari is one of those characters that, you know, deals charge attack damage so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what he does and first things first we see little animation stuff okay Ooh. all right i think it's just a four hit combo which is fine but that's neat oh kale is also in the same test run which is interesting Okay, yeah, this is, this is going to be pretty interesting. So first things first is the dendro element and everything. So it's going to be pretty new to me. And we're just going to try to take this step by step. So obviously, you know, he's going to have his actual bow weapon with him, which is apparently super strong. So we're going to have to see what that does. And we've also got the four piece of the Wanderer's Troop set. Honestly, this is the set I would go for if I would roll on Tenari. Now, for the constellations, we got an increase in charge attack crit rate for your C1, which is massive. Uh, when there are opponents within the field that you create within your, I think it's your E skill, uh, you gain a 20% dendro damage bonus. Wow, th th this is really good. Uh, all new members gain 60 elemental damage or elemental mastery and 60 more. So you get around 120 for this. And of course, you know, C6 is just, you know, stupidly strong. All right. So we get to see the actual skill attributes here. And with the level one aim shot, you get 198 with the... Wow. So the cluster arrow is from his ultimate. And if we go to the ultimate over here, we can see that uh, the energy cost is only 40, which is big. <laughs> which means you get it all, like, all the time. And I think the elemental skill is where you're mostly going to deal damage because you do you use your elemental skill and then you're going to use your charge attack so let's try this out let's only use uh tenari here so first things first we're going to use one charge attack with that six thousand damage like that eight thousand because i think the bows effect is taking place but yeah that's pretty nice and then use your elemental skill and then Ooh. <laughs> that is sick. Wait, that's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, that's his ultimate. And then we jump to skill again. And then we charge attack again. He's very much like Ganyu. <laughs> I'm playing Ganyu, but with green. Green letters popping up. Or numbers popping up. Green. Which is pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I should use my E skill before my ultimate. But, I mean, I guess I'm assuming, right? All right, this is sick. I do like it. I do like his kit. It's kind of fun, but I don't know how long I want to be doing this inside the abyss or something like that. So, yeah, I guess I have that to keep in mind. I like that. He's he's kind of strong, no? He's kind of good. Okay, let's continue the challenge. I want to try out Kalei. I want to try the uh, electro charge reaction that we can get with Dendro. So, let's go. Kale obviously has a little boomerang thing that you throw for the elemental skill. Uh, you could hit twice with it if you guess aim it correctly. And then you get this for the elemental burst, which is cool. Okay, a new elemental reaction unlocked. You can use this, both of them together, which would be actually pretty good. Oh, quicken. Oh, that's so sick. That is that is sick. Uh, I don't think Dendro has a reaction with Geo. Uh, might be wrong though, but I don't think there's a reaction. That is so sick. Alright. The good thing about Kale is I think she's able to apply Dendro pretty fast. Which is nice, obviously. Is that a taunt? Who has a taunt? Is that Kale? Yeah, that was kind of good. And then, use this. Alright, that was it. I think that was pretty much it. We got both Tenari 
as well as Kalei in one fell swoop. Obviously, I haven't seen Kalei's stuff just yet. We're using the Stringless Artifact set is the new one, which has Dander Damage Bonus as well as Elemental Skills or Burst decreases the Dander Resistance. So this is like almost a uh, Veridescent set, but for Dendro, which is interesting. Their constellations help with energy recharge. Wow, that is a lot. I'm not going to be going through that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty, I mean, pretty easy for both of them, right? But we're going, we're going to have to go more in depth through these characters in another video. But for now, that is going to be it. That is my first impressions. Uh, Dinner looks pretty cool. So I can't wait to actually try them out uh, in like the overworld. And it's going to be a pretty nice time. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited? Are you going to be pulling for Tegnari or uh, Kale or whoever? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.